Have you ever wondered why some people seem to be living their life fully, vibrantly, abundantly, while you are struggling or someone you know is struggling to live one tenth or one twentieth of life and I mean shrinking away from living? Have you ever wondered uh, like that? Wonder then no more because we're going to be discussing the reasons behind why some are living abundantly and why some seem to be unable to fully express themselves in the world. So you're welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Mary of Creating with Mary and I'm glad you'll be able to join me on today's episode. On Creating with Mary, the essence of this channel is to help us to create the best version of ourselves. That self that is able to live abundantly live out loud not be an onlooker at life but one that is experiencing life fully joyful happy grateful content i mean positively empowered that's the kind of life we want to create on this channel but in order to be able to do that there are certain things we must be able to overcome and today we're looking at the obstacles that prevent us from living that abundant life from creating the best version of ourselves so today I'm looking at five obstacles that prevent us from living that life we have it in our mind we dream about it sometimes We've written a vision about that life, but we are not able to come into it. Why? There are five obstacles that I've identified that prevent us from moving into that vibrant space. The first one on the list is shame. Shame is a feeling that you've done something wrong or improper. And you have this kind of awareness that People are judging you, people have condemned you about that thing that you've done. So you feel shameful, you feel ashamed. You kind of withdraw into yourself, you feel, you feel smaller rather than become bigger because we are here to expand consciousness, to experience the entirety of what is there. But we kind of shrink into ourselves, we become smaller. It's one of the most miserable feelings. Or emotion that anyone can ever feel shame the second one is blame you say or you think that you've done something wrong so you blame yourself oh I'm no good I'm a failure you blame yourself for whatever you imagine or think or say that you've done wrong I've done this wrongdoing I've done this unacceptable thing you blame yourself the third one guilt guilt is a feeling of deserving the blame the blame that you heaped on yourself sometimes this could be coming from a legitimate reason that you did done something wrong or sometimes it could be something that someone is trying to project on you guilt to guilt trip you to make you feel guilty you've not done anything wrong but someone who want to make you feel guilty because guilt is a very disempowering emotion it's, it makes you feel inadequate that you're not enough remember you are enough again you are enough the reason why you're on this earth why you've come to this dimension to this world is because you're enough you're worthy of the experience you are having in this world you're worthy of the purpose that was designing to you to come fulfill in this world but guilt gives us this sense of inadequacy. I don't deserve to be here. I don't deserve the good things of life. Yes, those people who are having the abundant life, yes, they deserve it. But for me, I do not deserve it. That's guilt. Very, very condemning. Very, very bad. That is not to say that you can't feel guilt legitimately. You should feel guilty when you've done something wrong. You should feel guilt that, oh, I've done this wrong. And you should make amends. That's the value of being human. That's the value of being someone who, who is wanting to cultivate themselves and bring out the best version of themselves. You should acknowledge when you've made a mistake, but sometimes either you or someone else wants to ensure that you're perpetually reminded of what you've done wrong. That is where the obstacle is created. The fourth one, regret. A regret is a feeling of sadness or disappointment in itself 
or you feel repentant, you, you feel a sense of loss. You regret the time you spent in a certain relationship or in a certain workplace or in a certain living area. Disappointment in yourself over something you've done in the past uh, which you thought you should have made a, a better decision about but you didn't and then you regret. The fifth one is anger. You feel strongly about it and you are upset, you are annoyed, you are angry because of what someone has done to you or what, what has happened or an event that you've witnessed. It's a natural emotion. Remember, if you've not yet watched the Emotional Intelligent video, you should pause this video and go over those Emotional Intelligent video so that you can have a clue to some of these emotions that we have just talked about. So these five emotions, they actually like stop us. They're like obstacles that prevent us from coming into abundance, from coming into the fullness of who we are. And most times, those things that we have regret, guilt, shame, blame, are angry about, are not happening right now. They are in the past. So they may have happened 10 years ago, 30 years ago, last night, or hours ago. Those thoughts about those events that we are feeling regret and shame and, and angry about, if we stay with them for too long, more than necessary, then they become a block. They're supposed to be a natural flow of life. Life is a flow, like a river. It's a flow. It's a flow into the various experiences that we should be having. But when you put a barrier in, in the flow, then it's stopped. And in that stoppage, you have stagnancy. In that stoppage, you have feeling of powerlessness. You feel helpless. You feel frustration. I mean, those are the things that actually stop us from moving forward, from enjoying the abundance that life has really built into each and every one of us. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be reviewing each of these five obstacles as a series on this channel. And you don't want to miss any of these episodes because you'll be unpacking a lot of these obstacles from your own life and you begin to see definite transformation when you begin to implement some of the information that will be contained in this video. So I hope that you're ready, as I am ready, for us to explore these five obstacles in details over the next course of episodes on, on this channel for us to be able to create the best version of ourselves and we are not dulling about creating the best version of ourselves we are intentional about creating the best version of ourselves and we must identify whatever it is that is preventing us from not accessing that best version of ourselves from not accessing that higher version of ourselves we must unpack every single thing and overcome those obstacles it's possible I assure you that it is. I'm a living example that it is. And there are so many other examples in the world to show you that it is very possible to overcome whatever obstacle may, may be placed in your path, better by you or by someone else, and move on higher into the magnificent and brilliant future. And I hope to see you in the very next one. Till then, Take good care of you.